There are more Ebon defense soldiers here. The EDF? Archaisms? Oh, must they insist on making everything so difficult? There! Let's begin the show! Watch it slow. Pitiful. Man of the hour. Marcus, activate. There. Very well. I shall prepare a glittering stage. Very well. Arcus, activate! Oh. There! Nighty night, kitty cats. Dear, not my finest hour. Let's begin the show! Arcus, activate! Pop! There! Man of the hour. There. Very well. I shall. Pop. Man of the hour. Here's my stage. There! <clears throat> Here's my stage. May you rest in peace! Fire! <clears throat> there! <clears throat> Man of the hour! Very well. May you re <laughs> Here's my stage. Far too slow. <laughs> Pop! No. This isn't. <laughs> Did you like that?
That healed both body and heart. Let's begin the show! of the hour. May you rest in peace. Yeah. Man of the hour. Slow! Elegant woman! Man of the hour. Here's my stage. Arcus, activate! I can handle this? Huh. 
Here's my stage. Far too slow. <laughs> this is it. Huh. Very well. May you rest in peace. This is it. Nighty night, kitty cats. Emergency! System-wide stealth functions have been disabled! All soldiers are to submit status reports ASAP! I repeat! Good timing. Well then, I can't say I know what caused that, but I'm not opposed to Lady Luck smiling upon us. I see we are going to need to accelerate our plan, if it is to succeed. His Highness and the Courageous Two are under our control. If you value his life, you will surrender. Are we now? Did he... Prince Oliver? Are you alright, Your Highness? But of course! I'm honored that so many esteemed comrades have come to my rescue. Myself, Shara, and my crew are all in the Courageous Two. Rest assured, everyone is unharmed. Though, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting our honeymoon to be quite this... eventful. I'm sure. I'm just thanking Adios, you're both okay. <laughs> I'm not surprised at all to see that they weren't idly awaiting rescue. Damn it! Just what is going on here? They're using one of the computers on the second floor! They've also freed all of the ship's crew! They're now making their way to the deck! Seize them! We can't let the Prince get away now! So, I don't suppose I could trouble you to come over here and help, could I? You've got Emma and Musee there, so it might be doable. What do you think, Emma? Traversing this distance should be no trouble at all. Please, give me a hand, Musei. Gladly. Please stay here where it's safer, Professor. I wasn't going even if you asked. Now get a move on. Please come quietly, your highness. The Ashen Chevalier? And the Golden Rakshasa? Looks like we made it in time. Sorry about the delay, your highness. As a Vander, I will not stand to see a gun pointed at a member of the Imperial family. <laughs> but they're just students! I presume this means I can count on your support, dear friends? Your will shall be done, your highness. Let us begin. Everyone ready? My turn. Behold. <laughs> now let's continue onward. I 
Many thanks for your assistance. I know how difficult that must have been with my understanding of the situation at hand. Truly, from the bottom of my heart, and to each and every one of you, thank you. Now, to make our way over to the bridge. I've got the third floor card key in hand, so we should skip the exercise and go for the elevator instead. All right. <laughs> Fabulous! the spot. Let's begin the show! Roar! Huh? Here, let's try! It's down! Too slow! Let's go! Here we 
go. Got him. I land it. Man of the hour. I shall prepare a glittering stage. Uh, gather above me, great Septian power! Erupt! A cosmic star! <laughs> Enjoy the show? I'm here! Thank you. My thanks to you. Here to play. I've got a chilling spell for you. And that's all. Now, let's continue onward. Let's begin the show! My mind. Let's go. Be home. <laughs> now let's continue onward. Your marksmanship is always a sight to see, your highness. Oh, but my abilities are so very humbled in the face of true professionals such as yourselves. My true talent, you see, lies in serenading my allies from a safe distance. Shall I? That's, uh, all right. I think we'll manage. Turn. 
I've got a chilling spell for you. Well, isn't that a pretty sight? Brilliant! Shot! Oh my goodness, did that hurt? <laughs> and that's all. Now, let's continue onward. That was refreshing. Now brace yourself! My turn. Behold. <laughs> now let's continue onward. I hoped you wouldn't make it this far. But I see General Le Guin is no longer with you, which tilts the odds in my favor. If you value your lives, you will put down your weapons and surrender. You're the ones who need to surrender. We know exactly what you're after now. You want the same thing as the soldiers who tried to pull off a coup in the capital. You must already know that their plan failed and they were arrested. Yet here you are, subjecting Nord to the very same indignity. Don't tell me you seriously think you can pull off a coup on your own. Oh, but I do. For we have the support of the Supreme Leader himself. Had we defeated the loathsome Republic in the war, we could have brought unity and peace everlasting to all the continent. Yet our leaders threw away that chance knelt before our enemies, and cast aside arms forged by our countrymen's blood. Erebonia is walking the road to ruin. Only one chance remains to correct our course. And you'd take the wheel? No. You will, your highness. The crown prince is missing, your father has effectively become a recluse, and your sister is a mere puppet. Useless, one and all. But not you. You overcame death aboard this very ship, and ever seek to better the Empire. You would be a fitting symbol of its rebirth. If you and this ship join the Supreme Leader's ranks, our countrymen would be sure to support the United Nation. Then the Empire can take its place as the center of the continent once more, for all eternity. 
Only that will bring true prosperity to Zemuria. I... I don't... <laughs> your insolence toward the Imperial family is galling, but your egotistical ramblings are no easier to stomach. You honestly thought to hand his highness and his wife to terrorists over such foolish delusions of grandeur? To say nothing of using the Highlands to try and reignite the fires of war. Your crimes are unforgivable. You aren't seeing the big picture. We and the Supreme Leader aren't thinking only of the Empire. Our eyes are on the future of the continent as a whole. Compared to such a grand cause, the welfare of royalty in backwater regions like this are insignificant, irrelevant. Why can you not understand that? Can you even hear yourself? An eerie mana is filling them to the brim. I'm sure they've been brainwashed in the same manner as Crossbell's people. But it was still their decision to blindly follow this destructive course instead of facing reality. Leaving them ripe for manipulation. All right. Listen to me. If you don't overturn your thinking, you'll never be able to move forward. What? So much was lost during and because of that war. A national mobilization law placed a heavy burden on our people. Many lives were lost, and those who lived will remain forever scarred. While I escaped with my life, I did lose the original Courageous. As well as my brother, who I had hoped to entrust with this nation's future. Uh, your Highness. But those losses paved the way for boons we could not have acquired otherwise. And I gained much, a new pair of wings to fly, friends from many nations, my beloved wife, and a new generation of life. I'm also convinced my brother wasn't just running away from his mistakes. He chose his new path in order to move forward. As long as we do not turn our eyes from what we have lost, and let those losses guide us ever onward, then we will not have truly lost anything. Or at least that is what I believe. Uh, I... If your hearts are too twisted for you to turn a critical eye to what you've done, then I will stop you. I have to. As one of the Imperial family, and a son of Erebonia. You think you can stop us? Then try it! We're going to back him up with everything we've got! Right! right. Not even His Highness could stop us now! Yeah! Very well! My <coughs> Arcus, activate! I'm here! Go! Thank, Thank you. you. My thanks to you. Man of the hour. Fight. Here's my stage. I shall prepare it. Uh, you're only delaying the inevitable. It's my turn. Roar. Feeling strong. Here to play. Places. This'll do. <laughs> Not today. Uh. I'm up. Roar! Oh. Here we go! This... this can't be! 
I can't afford to lose. Damn you! Wait! You're not getting away! It's over for you, Colonel Dalton. You're going to tell us everything you know. Now. I'm not telling you anything! And this is not over! Surround the Courageous too. Yes, sir! Airships? Were they standing by this whole time? Damn it! Now I know why there were surprisingly few people on board. <laughs> now who has the upper hand? You might be strong, but you don't stand a chance against an entire armored division! This does look bad. Don't give up. Even if we have to barricade our- What? We're under attack! Do they not care that their fellow soldiers are on board? Just... just what is happening? This isn't you? This is the airborne unit! Please respond! The unmanned tanks we had standing by are assembling and have begun to a- I've deployed a shield for now. Well, that's enough as a temporary measure, but that won't work forever. Uh, just what is going on here? Wait, did the Supreme Leader intend for this to happen from the very beginning? <laughs> and that's it for all of us! We're doomed! Can we escape aboard the ship, Your Highness? ADO's willing, but I'm not sure we'll be ready in time. All we can do is hurry. This is bad. We won't be able to resist a concentrated attack from this many tanks for very long. <sighs> voice was... That was Mueller. Sorry for the delay. I managed to steal a unit from Zendergate. I know you're in there, Olivier. Get the ship ready for takeoff. And don't you even think of dying. Because I have some choice words for you. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it, dear friend. The delivery is complete, General. The enemy has more reinforcements on the way. Don't stay in the fray for too long. Please be careful, and keep Olivier and the others safe. Understood. We'll meet you at the rendezvous point later. To think, it took all these years after following in your footsteps for us to fight side by side. I'd best see you put your interpretation of our master's righteous witness to good use. <laughs> I can't imagine the strongest swordswoman in the Empire would have much to learn from my unpolished sword. But I'm glad to have you watching my back. Together, we shall overcome these foes.
More of the Republic's weaponry is on the move? Indeed. I confirmed it as I was analyzing the projection device. Every one of their tanks and airships at the base started acting independently. It was chaos from there. Most of these left to gather at Nord's northeastern border. The 23rd Armored Division's tanks, airships, and soldats have started doing the same thing. Forces hidden throughout the Highlands started convening at Zender Gate after they had attacked the Courageous Two. There can only be one possible reason for this remotely operated show. They're planning to stage a skirmish between the two armies much bigger than the one earlier, and use it as an excuse to restart the war. <sighs> this... this can't be happening! <sighs> but something doesn't seem right here. Restarting the war was the 23rd Armored Division's goal, not the Supreme Leader's. I agree. I think it's safe to assume that he is involved in all of this. But what's happening here doesn't seem to logically connect with him taking over Crossbell and starting a United Nation. I honestly don't think I'd put anything past him at this point. We just don't have enough information to say for sure what's going on right now. If only I had my artifact, that would make it easier to communicate with those not currently with us. The sonorous seashell would be very useful here. Do you suppose the Supreme Leader has hold of it now? If anything, I'd imagine they were more interested in that than Olivier or the Courageous too. It appears the Division wasn't informed of what happened to it after the Defense Force seized it either. It sounds like we were just being used to camouflage their true intentions, which just makes all of this even more frustrating. I feel terrible for not being able to keep it safe after the church was good enough to turn a blind eye to me having it. You can't blame yourself for this, your highness. Let's turn it being taken into a positive. We know the seashell makes it possible to communicate over any distance. If we assume it's being used to help control weaponry remotely, our mysteries suddenly aren't quite so mysterious. Quite. That would certainly explain how they can remotely control even the tanks from Calvert's base. I would assume they're using a device somewhere in the Highlands. If so, then our next move is clear. Yeah. We need to find the remote control device behind this and destroy it. That's the only way we can prevent this situation from getting any worse. Then please, let us help you. I, I can't fight, but I at least know the lay of the land. Oh, Toma. Sheeta. Do the two of you understand just how dangerous what you're proposing is? Yes. We know that a war might be about to start. But all of this is happening in our home. It's our problem. We don't want to sit on the sidelines while everyone else risks their lives to help us. We want to be why Lily, Mom, and Charles are safe from harm. <sighs> Please just... be careful. You're both the best. <laughs> they really are. I won't lie. I'm a little scared. But I don't want to sit here cowering. Let us put those nerves to use. Please! They've really grown, huh? That they have. I feel genuinely proud to know them. All right. I'll admit that we need all the help we can get, so we'll be happy to have you backing us up. But promise me that you won't willingly put yourselves in more danger than you have to. We won't! We promise! Well, now that that's settled, we need to start deciding who's going to do what. Those tanks could start attacking at any time. At least some of us are gonna need to be ready to stop them. I agree. Time is of the essence. Let's get to work.
We're good to go. Operation preparations are complete. Report on your individual statuses. I'm in position in the Southern Highlands. The Courageous Two is also in position. It's almost time. Is everyone in the Northeast ready? Yes, we're also in position. Gaius, Emma, can you get us started? Of course. Replenishing mana. That's definitely the most suspicious spot in the Southern Highlands. Thinking about it, we should have pressed harder when we were told that area was sealed off because of fallen rocks. There's an animal trail nearby that will allow us to approach unnoticed. I'll tell you where to go. Thanks. You're a doll. My brother investigated the ancient quarry in Lake Lacrima the other day. There are only so many places in Nord to conceal something like this. So if we rule those out, one conspicuous spot remains. You're right. And that's where we'll... <gasps> what was that? It made me think of a wounded beast. I can feel something murderous in the air. The Empire's tanks have begun their advance. I've confirmed the same on the Calvardian side. A significant number of airships are also inbound. Here we go. What a rabble of soulless lumps. Is this all the challenge they can afford? If I can keep this up... Kurt, we're ready! Go ahead and fall back! Barrier successfully deployed! It looks like it's going to hold! The northeastern point is secured. Can we leave the airships to you? Certainly! Is this it, Professor? The orbal waves confirm that you're in the right place. The device is there for sure. Who is that? Oh, we found what we came for. Can you return to the settlement and start evacuating everyone? I'll see that the device is disabled. Go! All right. Good luck, Green. May the blessings of the winds and the goddess be with you.
You may not be the real Arios, but your skill with the sword is on par with the Divine Blades. That's all the more reason I can't let you sully his name or the integrity of the Eight Leaf School any further! As a master of the Seventh Form, and a fellow swordsman of the same rank, I'm going to put an end to this! Schwartz, sir! You shall fall to my blade, Schwarzer. Envelop me with strength! I'm up! Roar! Uh. Healing strike! Uh. Uh. Here I go! Uh. It's my turn! My mind is clear. My blade ended. Now! No, that wasn't the real Arios. And yet, just what are the Supreme Leader and his allies thinking? No, I don't have time to be speculating right now. I've secured the device, Professor. It's about time. Hurry up and show me what it looks like. Hmm. 
it appears to have the same basic structure as the device on the watchtower. We need to start disabling it at once. Follow my instructions to the letter. Yes, sir. They stopped! Success! Good. Reen and the Professor must have found it. I would have preferred some exercise. But it's good that it's over. <laughs> Looks like we made it in time. Reporting in, Your Highness. I've disabled the remote control device. Did that do what we hoped? All Calvardian units in the Northeast have ceased to function. The same is true for the Arabonian units in the South. Then the operation was a success. Well done, everyone! Think yes! Avios! We really did it! To say I'm relieved would be underselling it. As if there was any other possible outcome with me involved. I honestly feared the worst at one point. But you did it, guys. Mm. Is something wrong, Musée? It's just... I feel like we're missing something. What do you mean? I'm sorry. I'm having trouble putting my thoughts into words. I... Everyone here is well aware of your keen intellect. Even if you can't articulate it cleanly, whatever insight you can provide would be extremely valuable. Please, go on. <sighs> think back to the attempted coup in the capital. I think you'll agree that it didn't exactly seem meticulously planned. The same is true here in the Highlands. This was a highly inelegant brute force approach to restarting the war. Neither operation feels like a plan that the Supreme Leader would orchestrate. That's... true. I think it's safe to assume that he's behind everything happening. Even so... Even so? Why would someone so precise act so sloppily? Ever since he crashed the signing ceremony, every move he's made has been flawless. Almost eerily so. All evidence still points to him being a fraud, but that doesn't make him the lesser strategist. If anything, he's proven himself to be better. That leads me to believe he intended to dispose of the military elements we've been facing from the start. Meaning, our actions are suiting his needs by taking them out of the picture. Hold on a second. If all you're saying is true, and our victory here was exactly what the Supreme Leader wanted to happen all along? <sighs> Unbelievable. That can't be right. Then what's his next move? The game isn't over yet. We still have time to turn this in our favor. But how? What more can we do at this point? The device is disabled, taking away the only means to remotely control those tanks. And it wouldn't make sense to have a spare. If the Supreme Leader intended us to fall for this ploy, then his goal lies elsewhere. That leaves 19 possibilities. No. No, no. None of them fit. There has to be one play. A single move that brings this game to a stunning conclusion. Your Highness, everyone! What's wrong, Instructor? Your expression is grave. You'll understand when I tell you what we found at the Stone Circle. Everyone needs to evacuate now. There's a railway gun here that's about to fire.
railway gun? How? There was a projection device just like the one at the watchtower here, too. The second the remote control device was disabled, it turned off, and the gun started preparing to fire. Even worse, its target has been preset as the Highlands Settlement. No. Oh. What? All of that was pre-programmed? That has to be the case. Firing that gun was likely his true aim all along. Why did he choose the settlement as his target? There are still people there! Can't you stop it, Instructor? I've tried, but the control room is locked, and I can't force my way inside. The firing sequence has already begun. Our only option is to start evacuating people from the settlement. Thomas getting horses ready as fast as he can, but... There's no way to outrun the blast from an 80 reed shell. It's too late. Oh! Lily! Mom! <laughs> All we can do is what we can, but we can't afford to give up. We're on our way. Sarah, just get out of there for now. Too late to save them? No, I can't let them die. Is there nothing I can do? If only he were here. If I could just reach out. If only I had the strength. Sorry, my love. We're saved? Why is that here? <coughs> What's happening? Get up, Schwarzer! <gasps> what is... White Knight? That looks just like... Mueller, retreat! Going down. Be calm. Huh? You're. I'll support you with my magic. Don't lose your nerve now, Prince. Rosalia. Prepare for an emergency landing. No! 
玩。This has to be a joke. Kurt, Principal Le Guin, are you all right? You'll do no more harm. I see my chance for a real fight has finally come. Gone. <sighs> you okay, Reen? Instructor. Lily, Toma. Shida, thank you, Dios. <laughs> I was so scared. That was nothing short of a miracle. My head is spinning. <laughs> Instructor! You all right in there? We'll get you out, right? <laughs> Instructor? Your hair and your eye! I'm so glad. You're okay. I've missed you. So much. Huh? Rain. Are you in pain? Uh, no. I'm fine. I just feel so sad somehow, but also so happy that I could cry 